The theme of this year's event is the show must go on. And you guys have heard it. You see it every single day in our business. That there's challenges, right? Somebody hangs up on us. Somebody slams a door in our face. We got to transition from door knocking to phone sales, whatever, right? But at the end of the day, the show must go on. What I've learned throwing events, getting around big time people and doing some big stuff is when I do something like this, I get around you guys, we spend some time together, I leave thinking bigger than I've ever thought before. Who wants to leave thinking a little bigger after this weekend? I know I do, which is why I told our team months ago, I said, we will throw a live event in 2020, I promise, I guarantee it, it will happen, and it's happening. Thank you for being here. This is, well, Lauren's really my baby, but this is my, this conference is, is, is my, my baby. Like, I, I absolutely love it. It will continue to grow. I'm blessed and honored that each and every one of you chose to take time out of your schedule, travel from, I mean, we get people from Oregon and Idaho here, you know? Right, Josh Lustig? So I appreciate you guys being here very much, okay? In our business, you're, you're probably, you, you've probably seen, and what I've noticed is when something gets tough or when I get challenged and I get on the other side of it, and I push through and I execute and I do it, something amazing starts to happen. Whoever gets scared when they're about to do something? Whoever has fear when they're about to do something? Who feels like you need to be challenged and a little more motivated right now? Which is why you're here. I get bored very easy. I have times where I'll like, I was talking to my wife a few, like a month ago when we moved into our new house. I said, babe, I got to change it up. I'm getting bored. I got to, like, I got to add something. I got to do something, right? Most people, when they get, like, when they get busy, they start, like, taking stuff off their plate. When I get busy, the team gets busy, I'm like, add something. Do something more. We can do more than we're doing right now. So about a month ago, I decided to run a half marathon. In a week, I looked up how to train for it, Pete. I said, okay, how do you train to run 13.1 miles when you've never run more than a mile since you got married? And it said, over the next 8 to 12 weeks, you need to do this, 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 and this. I'm like, I'm doing it in seven days, Brad. Finished it, completed it, hit my goal. That was something I've always wanted to do, challenged me. I'm going to do an Ironman in November in Galveston, Texas, just south of here. Why? Because I've never done it before. I'm 30. I'm not like, like, 30 was a wake-up call for me. Who else, like, 30 was like a freaking wake-up call? Some of you are like, dude, 60 is really going to be a wake-up call, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm in. For me, 30, I looked at my wife, I'm like, we can take it up a notch. We're not doing, we're, 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 we're not doing enough. We're not thinking big enough. We're not challenging ourselves enough. So I want to challenge you this weekend while you're here to think outside the box, to think a little bigger, to think a little more creatively, and to think, what are some things I've never done that I don't think I can do that I absolutely can do? What are some things you don't think you can do that you've never done before that I promise you, you can actually do. It's amazing. You know what starts to happen when you do you know, crazy stuff like that? Like planning an event in 90 days where you never planned a birthday party before? Back in 2018? I start to get some confidence, Doug. I start to get some of these small wins. I start to like, things start to happen. I start to notice things where I'm like, once you do that, you start to believe you can do anything. Who wants to come to a point where you believe you can do anything in your life? Okay, just a couple of us. Maybe a few more. Okay, good, good. 
Here's three things really quick to start out today that I've started doing differently since 2018. That once you add these into your life, your habits, your success routines, your daily discipline, I promise you your life will start to change. Should have a pad. We handed out a couple hundred notebooks. I think we ran out, but... Number one, I'm always willing to learn constantly, to be coachable, to realize I don't know everything, right? That's why I love hanging out with people like JB and Pete, man, because they, they're always teaching me something. There's always a next level of knowledge. The second thing, once I started to invest in my business, and actually invest. Some of you are like, dude, I bought $20 worth of age leads last week, man. I mean, really invest. Things started to take off. And there was a lot of moments where when I was investing, I didn't have the money to be investing. But guess what? When something scares me, when I've got that fear, when I get bored, when I know I need to add something, right? We talked about it earlier, I add it, I do it. Right? We just talked about it on the opening video of how I spent 15 grand to go to the 10X conference in 2018, which is where I met Tim Story, which is who is speaking later. I never spent that kind of money on tickets before. But at some point, Andrew, when you do something like that, when you push the envelope, you get outside of your comfort zone, oh my gosh, it's a freaking amazing feeling. And it forces me to really wake up, level up, and to do stuff that I've never done before, that I didn't think I could do, that I promise you, you can do. And the third piece is I starting, I, I start to get around people that were miles ahead of me. I don't care if I had to pay, I don't care if I had to drive 13 hours, I don't care if I had to fly somewhere, it didn't matter. I was committed that no matter what, when an opportunity presents itself, I'm going. I'm showing up, no matter what. We just had a Power Players Networking Retreat in Springfield, Missouri a month ago. Let me hear you if you were there. Yeah. Come on now. It was 23 in Springfield for an intimate retreat. Unbelievable event. Crazy. You, and you really wouldn't even believe how amazing it was unless you are actually there. But it, for me, it was life-changing. I don't know about everybody that was there, but for me, it was life-changing. Why? Because when I get in a room with other people doing big stuff or even bigger things than me, it motivates me. It challenges me. And the biggest reason people come to events like this is what? To get motivated, to get challenged, to learn, to network. When you get an opportunity to surround yourself with successful people, I promise you, it will help you take your own personal next level of success. Now, this year's event is all about the experience, which means we're going to do some things that we've never done before, that we maybe didn't think we could do, but once we do them, then we've done them, right? So we got a surprise to kick off the event. Who likes surprises? Come on now. Who likes surprises? Is that it? Come on now. Let's go. Who likes surprises? All right. I'm not, he, he's, he, I'm not even bringing him out with that energy. I'm telling you, I truly believe the dude I'm about to bring out is one of the, literally one of the best motivational speakers in the world. Incredible story. You will want to pay attention, take notes. Unfreaking believable on stage. Are you ready? 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 All right. I'm not going to say his name. What I am going to do 
Just give you a little closer look to who it actually is. Right here. Hey, if you love this, you'll love how to do a presentation for insurance agents. There's a couple pieces of this video that I've never talked about before. It's right here, click on it, you'll love it. Hey, almost every insurance agent I know struggles with objections, specifically what to do and how to improve your closing ability. So I'm gonna talk through several different things, okay? I always talk about 